Hey everybody, welcome to a No Man's Sky. I'm a Captain Nabiferoni. My primo, Captain Beef, he's a busy today, so he had me and Giuseppe here take over. We're gonna do a video, it's gonna be all about a cooking in No Man's Sky. Cooking is a big process, and it involves a lot of work, and there are many, many recipes. One thing I recommend, if you do not have, get the uh, assistant for No Man's Sky for your smartphone. It help, um, helps out uh, quite a bit. Oh, I fell down and I'm short. Sure this is going to be a trouble. First and foremost, you're going to need a food to cook up. I have a bigger farm here and I grow all kinds of, uh, of uh, different flowers and vegetables and good stuff. As you can see, I've got eight different racks of food over here. Everything from fascia, mordite, the frost crystal, everything you can grow, a fungal mold. I know grow only the bad stuff that you can't cook, like gravitino balls and all that. Who wants to eat the balls, right? Another thing that we do here is we got a lot of animal here. And all these animals, what are good for making the food, right? So check it this out. We'll put down a couple of these feeders, these autom automatic feeder, right? And what they do is they feed the animal, and the animal leaves a deposit in here. Could be eggs, it could be milk, could be all sorts of things. It depends on the animal and the planet you're on. Let's check out this other one here. Look at that, they got a little milk, a proto milk. It's so good. Good for the bones and the teeth. Now there are many a vegetable and uh, beans and so forth you can get on the different planets. Some of them are specific to a certain world, others not so much. The wheat you'll find in many places. A sweet root you'll find all over the place. Impulsive beans all over the place. And the frozen tubers are called the planet. The poppy root in different place. Hexaberry you find on a special planet. A fireberry you find on a fiery planet. A jade peas you find in different places. Aloe flesh is a desert planet. And I think that's it for the main stuff, right? Some of these other things, uh, the grab berries and the meat and all that, well, you find in different places. But we're going to grab a bunch of food and we're going to cook up a different stuff. Oh, and I'm full. Uh, I think it screw up. All right, let's grab some milk. Grab some eggs. And we grab uh, some honey. We grab uh, some meat. A different type. And that's a good start for now, I think. Okay. So things you cook, you use a nutrient processor. And there's many different things you can make in here. Sometimes you put one thing in and make something else. Sometimes you combine and it makes special stuff or make it nothing. In this case, uh, we got a baked eggs, right? And look at that. Just like that in a jiffy, it's better than a microwave. Some stuff can be refined further, but like a baked eggs is no. And you take a milk and it makes a cream, right? You take a cream. And look at that, it makes a butter. You take a butter, it makes it nothing. 
But what if you mix that butter with something else? Like, let's take a little wheat. What's a wheat make? Everybody knows. A wheat makes flour, right? It's a no-brainer. You take it a flour. You take it a butter. And make a pastry. Who doesn't like a pastry? I'm just going to take a pastry, put it in there. Look at that. You make a pie case. Just like that, a little butter, a little wheat. Actually, a little milk to start off. And a little wheat. And now we got a pie case. Can we put eggs in it? Maybe make an omelet? No, we can't do that. What about, uh... Take a little sweet root, see what happens. Look at that, a mushed root pie. That sounds delicious, don't it? Let's break it back to the beginning. I'll take a milk. I cook it down. I get a special cream. We take it a cream once again and make a butter. We take it a butter, put it back in, and we make a nothing, right? Now let's get some more wheat and make a different kind of pie. Look at that, we get a nice pastry. A flour, I'm sorry. Now we get the pastry. Just like that, a nice pastry. What happened if we put something in before? We make a pie case. Does it make something special? Not that. Maybe some honey mix in. Nope, nothing for that. Well, let's make a pie case. And we try to make a different pie. Now, who doesn't like... A meat pie, right? Oh, look at that. A mystery meat pie. It's like something you get at school when you're a little kid. So we see what we can do. Sweet root on its own. Look at that. I make a sugar. A sugar. Can we make anything out of the sugar? Nothing out of the sugar. Oh, we run out of room. I fix it like this. After sugar, I put in ingredient storage. Now how about we take uh, the impulse of beans, see what that does. A bit of sweet cocoa. Make anything else with that? No, we can't, but what if we mix that with a little sugar? And make it nothing, but what happened? If we put a little milk, and it don't make it nothing. Okay. As the impulse being the frozen a tuber, and that's a root, a steamed vegetable. Make anything from that? I know we can. A poppy root. Oh, we make a root juice. Who doesn't like a nice, a big steaming glass of a root juice? And the hexaberry. You get these again on a special planet. Oh yeah, they make a steamed vegetable. How weird is that? Huh? Nothing special there. Fire berry and make a spicy a fire water. It's so hot and it's delicious. It make your nose and your eyes run and your nose burn. I get the J the beans. I get the more steamed vegetables. So we got a lot of things and make a steamed vegetable, right? And the aloe flesh. Look at that, a nice refreshing drink. 
Now we grow stuff too. Many things we grow in the garden. Let's check some of these out. Think like a facium. I know it's a poop, but look, it make a yeast. We take uh, maybe some more of that. That come from deader things, you know? Look at that, make a meat flake. Meat flakes are so delicious. Now let's try something different. We try, uh, oh, I don't know. What's so far? A salt. We'll put a little bit of salt in. Look, we get nothing. But I bet we add the stuff, it makes it a good. A honey. Oh, we get a synthetic honey. Much better than a real thing. And we get nothing from that. What right, else we got? We got more wheat. More beans. But the stuff that we grow. Oh. Solatilo. A grease. A crabberry. What happened with the crabberry? Ah, oh, we just get sugar, okay. We don't mess with that. We got lots of eggs, a crab apple. We get nothing. Is it something we grow? It's a frost crystal. I pull one in. Look at that, you get a grass grains. Who doesn't like to eat a big bunch of a grass grain? Put it in more, and we get flour. It's another way to get flour. So if you don't want to find a wheat, you grow the frost of crystal, and you make it from there. A marrow bulb. I never cooked one of these before. But I get a marrow flesh. Look at it, it looks like a blue maggots. Who doesn't like a blue maggots? It's delicious. What else do we got? A proto sausage. A sausage. Hey, we make a processed meat. Nobody like a processed meat. Uh, not even me. It's a gross. Maybe we mix it with some liver. Hey, we get jack. Nothing. Or maybe we mix it with uh, a meaty chunk. Hey, look. We get a mystery meat to stew. It's just like, again, it's like a little kid in the school and you get a lunch and it's a mystery meat stew. It's probably got like possums and stuff in it. You don't know. What else we got here we can uh, try? Oh, we got the fruity ice cream we make. Mm, so delicious. The cactus of flesh we we'll put in. We get a cactus and nectar. We can refine and make a more sugar. After the cactus of flesh, we try, let's see, uh, maybe a gamma root. I'll put in, take this and put in uh, storage. And we get, uh, let's see, silver beans. Those don't sound so good. Oh, we forgot. We gotta cook them up. See what happened. Where's oh, the seafood bean? Hey, make a steamed vegetable. We got many, many steamed vegetable. Maybe we make an omelet. Next, uh, we cook a. Uh, Solanium. That's how to get the soda teal. Take a soda teal. Hey, we get steamed vegetable again, huh? All these are special things. They just become a plain old steamed vegetable. 
It's a very generic, but it's good to know these different ways you can get the basics. A star bulb. Oh, it's delicious. It make a pilgrim berry. It's so sweet. It's juicy and sweet. And we put that in. And look at that, we get a pilgrim's a tonic. My mama used to make a lot of pilgrim tonic when I was a kid. And we got a fungal mold. The buff fungal mold. Oh, make a non-toxic mushroom because of the toxic one. And also good to cook with. We take a non-toxic mushroom put in. Oh, we get a steamed vegetable again, even though the mushroom's a fun guy. And the nothing. As a leopard fruit, we get this from an animal, you get nothing. So, that's some of the basics of cooking. We're going to come back and look at some more advanced recipe. Okay, Captain the Beefaroni is back and uh, we're going to make us some donut. It takes a couple things to make a donut. First, uh, we get some a flour and a yeast, which we saw how to make, and we combine into the dough. And here we get to churn the butter two times and we make a clarified oil. And the best part of the donut is the sugar. Oh, well, we're missing a couple. What happened? We'll put some of there, put some of there, and the rest we'll put it back in the suit. And this is a special thing here. We're going to make anomalous a jam, and I'll show you why in a little bit. So lots of sugar in making a special donut. Okay, so we make it the dough, we make it the oil, and this is where, like a mama used to say, it gets a tricky. We process all three together in one shot, and we make a nice lumpen donut. What's a lumpen donut? Check it out. So they find the food product. It's a highly valuable, but it's not good enough. This is this is something you feed a friends when they come over and you like, but you know, eh, they're not your favorite of the friend. So we're gonna make a bunch of these, and I show you after how to take it to the next level. Okay, now things will get really crazy. We got a lumpen donut. We'll put anomalous jam. And we make an anomalous donut. Now check it this out. It's a very special. Highly valuable. 70,000 units a piece. Let's get them cooking. Okay, now we're going to make a, something a little more disgusting, a horrifying a mush. And it's a made from a hypnotic eye you find underwater in a different place. We're going to make a bunch of these. And we're going to see what we can do with this, because it sounds gross, but, but so compelling as well. You know, it take a few minutes, you can only cook a couple at a time, so it's a, not special, you know. Let's gather it up. That's why I like to have a bunch of grills out because you know you can cook them any different thing. If you got to do a vegetarian, a vegan, a kosher, you got a separate grill for each. Okay, so let's find the horrifying mush here, and we're gonna add to it something else that we make a whole bunch of. There we go. A steam of vegetable. And look, are we making abyssal stew? That sounds gross. It's something from the abyss, huh? But it's a highly valuable. Now, all of these things you cook, from a raw to these uh, heavily refined, you can take it to Kronos. And he, you'll find on the anomaly. And when you find to him, he will buy these for you and give you nanite. He eat it, he say it's good, it's a bad, he give you different amount of nanite, it's a totally random. So that's a nice thing you could do to make a nanite. It's a very time consuming, very resource consuming, but it's all sort of very cool. And as you can see, if you do these different things and you eat them, you can get a special bumps to uh, 
like uh, recover your health, uh, recover your uh, oxygen, uh, different stuff for your suit, and it's uh, kind of cool that way, right? Look at that, we got an abyssal stew, how nice is that? We'll put on the starship. All right, well, I'm going to go ahead and wrap this up, but we're going to make us some more stuff. I made a whole bunch of uh, the basics, a lot of flour, a lot of sugar and all that. And I come up and maybe do a few recipe things, but uh, I don't know if I kept it beefy, had me back or not. You know, it's kind of funny that way. This is his show and he don't like to give up the power too much. So we'll see. But if I see you again, I see you again. If not, then I say, Arrivederci, Bellos.